and welcome to my programming channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use OpenCL to get some details about your GPU. This is a quick and simple introductory tutorial to OpenCL, so you don't need to know anything about it. You just need to know C programming because we are going to be using OpenCL with C. Now I'll be using VI for this tutorial, so bear with me. You are free to use any editor you prefer. Let's start by including stdio.h. Everything we need from OpenCL is available if we include this file called uh, OpenCL.h. Let's quickly create the main function now. Um, okay. So to read information about your GPU, you will need a structure called CL device ID. Uh, I'm going to call it my device ID. But this structure, of course, doesn't contain any data in it yet. We need to put the data in it. And we do so by calling a function called CL get device IDs. This function takes a lot of arguments. Uh, the first argument it needs is the platform ID, but it is uh, not necessary, so you can just pass null here. Next, you need to specify uh, if you're looking up uh, details about your uh, GPU or CPU. So I'm going to specify CL device type GPU. In the third parameter, you specify how many device IDs you want to fetch. Say one here. And uh, next, we pass the address of uh, our structure. And the last argument can again be ignored, so pass null. This function actually returns a number, which is an error code. So let's get that. If this result is uh, not equal to CL success, It means that something has gone wrong. So uh, let's just print an error message. And return one. Otherwise, we are all set. So now is a good time to try to compile our program. Uh, we need to specify that uh, we are going to be using OpenCL as our framework and nothing more really. And we don't seem to have any errors. And we are all set indeed. The next thing we are going to be doing is uh, reading data from this structure because now it has the data. But we need to decide what we are going to be reading. So let's say we are going to be reading the number of compute units in our GPU. That is an unsigned integer. 
and I'm gonna say and compute units. Similarly, um, let's read uh, the total global memory of uh, the device. So that will be an unsigned long. And I'll say mem size here. Okay. So to read from the structure, we'll be using a function called uh, co get device info this function too as you might guess takes a lot of arguments and the first argument is the device id the next argument you pass to this function is seal device max compute units now this is something that you look up from the OpenCL man pages or you could always memorize it. The third argument you pass here is the size of uh, the return value that you are expecting. Uh, to get the end compute units we have to pass CL unsigned int here. And then we pass the address of uh, the variable. And the last argument is again not necessary, so pass now. At this point, we should be having the end compute units. So let's try printing it. To make sure that we are calling it correctly let's compile again okay so I have eight compute units uh, at this point you probably understand already the drill so we need to call this uh, function again I'll just yank four lines and paste it here um, change uh, CL device max compute units to um, CL device global mem size and uh, remember this is an unsigned long now and here we pass the mem size and we print again this is an unsigned long long so you have to say llu here and by default the value returned is in bytes but working with bytes gets tedious so i'm going to convert it to gigabytes now so say the mem size and divide it by a billion. Uh, that should be good enough. Let me just add a new line. And if I run it again, okay, so now you know how to read the maximum number of compute units and uh, memory available to your GPU through OpenCL. So thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe.